Hi, this is one of the most interesting video in Pascal's triangle. Here we are going to find a pattern in this Pascal's triangle by coloring all the hexagons containing odd numbers in this triangle. So this is called Sarpensky triangle pattern or fractals. Fractals are actually a pattern repeating in itself. So this is a triangle and if I color all the hexagons containing odd numbers, you are going to find tiny tiny triangles in this Pascal's triangle. So let me color all the odd numbers and as you can see till here I have noted down the Pascal's triangle properly and after that I have just written whether the number will be even or odd because here we are only interested in whether the number is even or odd. So I have filled the triangle with O and E where O stands for odd number and E stands for even number and what I'm going to do next is I'm going to color all the odd numbers with dark gray. So if I color it, these are the odd number. One is the odd number, right? Then we have three, which is the odd number. Then we have one, one over here. Then we have one, five is the odd number, right? See, I'm coloring only the odd numbers in this pattern. And if you see in this particular row, we have all the numbers are odd numbers. So we have got a tiny triangle over here. Yes, it is an inverted triangle. And if I continue this, we are going to get a very interesting pattern, which will be full of triangles. So in this row, we have only these two odd numbers. Then in this row, we have these four odd numbers. Then we have 45. This is an odd number. So I have colored all the odd numbers. And now if you see, you can find that this big triangle is actually made up of small small inverted triangles all of them are equilateral triangle right see so this is fractal or Sarpensky triangle so this was one more property of Pascal's triangle and if I change color to red it is going to look something like this I think this is more clear view